51 and a half minutes left. This live Thursday transmission will be live tomorrow, the day before the 4th of July, and on Sunday on July 5th. Okay, let's go ahead and start news blitzing. Fox News, the only thing that can save America now is for Al-Qaeda to nuke our cities. And you can Google syndicated columnist says 9-11 helped America. We need a new one, and you'll see those announcements. And you can search the articles with the audio of the Rumsfeld's top generals saying we sure need another terror attack. It sure helped us with our agenda. Minus that, what are we going to do? Let's see, 9-11 Truth exposed all that and broke their toy. Now, this is up on PrisonPlanet.com. This is insane, pure treason, but understandable, wrote Your New Reality site. When tragedy and disaster strikes, people run to their TVs. Fox News pulled more than 10 million viewers on 9-11 and for a week or two after. They nearly hit those same ratings highs when Rupert Murdoch's uh, droogies fermented from fantasy into reality an unprovoked war on Iraq. Imagine how many people would watch Fox News if American cities started getting blown apart by major weapons. It'd be the mecca of ratings. And that's what all of this is about. Now, here's the sickening CIA, quote, bin Laden hunter. We just did an hour of radio documenting mainstream news that Al-Qaeda works for the CIA, attack the Serbs, attack the Russians. Uh, they're using them to attack our own troops in Iraq. Yes, U.S. government killing our troops with the Wahhabist and using them to attack Iran. White House admits it. Al-Qaeda is the sword of the New World Order. Here are these guys basically wishing for this. And, and I really should have pulled up the Pentagon clip of him saying it, too. And I should have pulled up. Did you guys ever Google, like I asked, uh, Colin that says we need another 9-11 or 9-11 was good for America? Did you ever Google that? Google that during the video clip. You can find it. I want to because I want to show people this isn't just some one time deal. They parrot this just like the PNAC document, September 20th, 2000, written by Dick Cheney. Project for New American Century says minus a giant catalyzing event on the order of Pearl Harbor. We can't have our world government. And we need to use race-specific bioweapons to wipe out certain races. There's a big new Brzezinski says that in the Grand Chessboard, 1997. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, roll with this uh, little clip of Lord Beck. Here it is. You have seen this. Do you really honestly believe that we have come to a place to where... Those very senior people in the highest offices of the land, Congress and uh, the White House, really will not do the, the right thing in the end, that they won't see the error of their ways? No, sir, they will not. not, not the only chance we have as a country right now is for Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States because it's going to take a grassroots, bottom-up pressure because these politicians prize their office, prize the, pra the praise of the media and the Europeans. Only, it, it's, it's an absurd situation again. Only Osama can, can execute an attack which will force Americans to demand that their government protect them effectively, consistently, and with as much violence as necessary. Which is why I was thinking this weekend, that would be the, if I were him, that would be the last thing I would do right now. <laughs> All right, that's Media Matters, breaking that down through fair use. Absolutely uh, accurate on that subject. Now, I'm done with that subject. I said News Blitz, we're going to move on. Just people ask, why would they stage terror attacks? There they are explaining it to you. As if Washington won't get up and do what it takes. They've already taken over a whole bunch of other countries and are behind all the terror. It's just total crap. Now, I have seen these different NASA videos, and if you take the satellite uh, photos from 78 up till 2009, you see the, the this particular one is the Antarctic, that's the southern, and it gets bigger in the winter and smaller in the fall, bigger in the fall and winter, smaller in the spring and summer. Okay, explaining that. It gets bigger in the fall and winter and then starts getting smaller in the spring and summer and there you can see the ice pack see with the antarctic that's the southern pole the arctic's the north only the center area you see there in brown on your screen is rock that's a land mass 
mountainous regions. A lot of it unexplored. Okay, and then there's the ice. Now, now what Al Gore and the media do is they go down there and they point video cameras off ships in the spring and summer, and they show you huge glaciers breaking off in the water, and they say, look, it's melting. Well, that's true, because it gets bigger in the fall and the winter, and it gets smaller in the spring into the summer. Right there on your screen is the depths of summer, the Arctic summer, when the Arctic is pointed more towards the sun. It's a different time of year than what we have here. And it's the same thing in the Arctic in the north. That is the Antarctic. I will assure you it exists. I will assure you it's on the bottom of the planet. And the same thing's happened in Mars. Uh, Mars has a summer and a winter. It has a hot time of the year and a cold time of the year. It's, it's overall colder there than it is here. It's farther from the sun. And it has a, it has a smaller, what is it, southern cap and a larger northern cap. I'm going from memory. You can go look it up anywhere you'd like. It'll be an encyclopedia. But, but Martian ice caps... And, and it gets bigger in one part of the year and smaller in another. And it's the sun doing it. It's not your SUV, I will assure you. But it's very simple parlor trick scams that they use. They say, look, icebergs. It's the earth is warming. And people are only thinking in the here and now. And they go, my God, it is hot. It's all over. The earth's melting. It's going to flood us. But they've done the big mathematical equations. Did you know that ice actually displaces more space than liquefied water. When water hits 32 degrees, it displaces more space than water above 32 degrees. That's a fact. That's why you can have a glass heaping with ice, sticking out of the top. When it melts, it'll be below the top because ice displaces. So actually, if all of the ice did completely melt, and we have one of these big superheating cycles that have happened before, when oxygen and carbon dioxide goes way up and the whole Earth's a giant oasis, you would actually, many of the models show, you would actually have a lowering of sea levels. And then they lie and say, well, Texas used to be underwater. That was during a different geological system with tectonic activity because of the, the Earth being hotter it's beginning to cool somewhat. It's like the moon's completely dead. It has no volcanic activity. So anyways, if the ice melts, it displaces less area. And so the ocean drops. You got a big iceberg out there and 90 plus percent of it's underwater. When it melts, it displaces less space because what happens with, with water when it freezes is it displaces. This is a fact. That Google for them will show them some university site will pop up. Ice displaces more area than water. And we will, we will and, and that's a, it's when water's in a solid state. We will show people that. Ice displaces more area than water. We will show everyone this on screen, I assure you. And go ahead and click on it. It's uh, physicslink.com. It explains. And it, and it goes through that. So you can go to the physics website and read that for yourself. I assure you it's a fact. Now, but, but let's go back to that video. I want them to see it. This is year to year. Composite of satellite photos. Okay? In the summer it gets small. In the fall and winter it gets big. And then the springtime comes and it gets smaller. And almost down to nothing, and the penguins go out and mate and everything and lay their eggs and have their babies, and then the winter comes, and it gets bigger. Pretty soon they'll say penguinos can't swim. Now, you go to the north, pull up that story. Now mainstream news is having to expose the hoax that polar bears go out on the ice floes, they hunt seal and smaller whale and porpoise, and that they're the best swimmer. Like, let's just Google that. People don't believe it. Polar bear, best swimming land animal. Okay? Polar bears, best swimming land animal. And let's just put that in and we'll show everybody. Because they're lying to your kids. Polar bear facts, information photos, National Geographic. Let's click on it. Maybe they'll lie and say they can't swim. I don't know. That's how they roll. 
But, uh, and they show, I keep saying this because it's such a hoax. It illustrates how it's all a hoax. They, they show that, I've already said it, the point is polar bears are not dying, their numbers are going up. Okay, that's another important news item on that front.